You are going to be the death of me, Asher. Do you want to bring your umbrella? Yeah. Yeah? To the school. To the school? It's raining. Yeah, we need, oh, we're not supposed to open it in the car. <laughs> you can use it outside, okay? I don't want the rain on my head. You don't want the rain on your head? Mm -hmm. Okay, then we need to bring the umbrella. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sharing? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Walking in that they have to take like the tiniest little steps because they don't know how to walk with an umbrella. <laughs> Come on. Good morning, you guys. I just dropped Emma off at school and I am at Home Goods right now. I didn't find any rugs that I liked online for the living room. And at the fireplace is pretty much done. I'll show you guys when we get home, obviously. I decided to come to Home Goods because they usually have a pretty good rug selection. I just want to see what they have here um, and hope that they have one that's like a good size for the living room. Also, they probably have really fun fall and Halloween decor, so I might get distracted. And then I have to go to Lowe's and get a little bit more paint because we ran out of the white paint for our living room because I didn't realize there was an extra wall on the other end of the kitchen that was also blue until we had already finished with the first wall. <laughs> so we need a little bit more paint. So I'm stopping at Home Goods, checking out their rugs. Then I'm gonna go to Lowe's and pick up paint. I can't wait to show you guys the fireplace when I get home though because it's looking so good. So the bad news is that I did not find a rug at Home Goods that I thought would look good in the space. I even went to World Market like on the way home just to check and they had a lot of really gorgeous rugs but none of them were bigger than an 8x10 which defeats the whole purpose of why we need a new rug in here. So I decided to order one on Boutique Rugs which is where we ordered the rugs that are in here and our bedroom. This is the one I decided to go with. I think it's going to be good because it's got a little bit of a cool tone to it but not cool. The other ones I was looking at had more of like bluish shades in them and we just took the blue out so I didn't want something blue. This one has some browns, some grays, and some blacks so I think it's going to really tie the space in together but it also has a little bit of color in it and I wanted like a little bit more color. So I got the rug, so that's done. And now I'm home and the boys are napping. Justin's getting Emma from school. I'm gonna show you guys how everything turned out. By the way, this is the blue I was talking about that we didn't realize was blue. It's literally just this wall right here and then the inside of this doorway and then randomly right here is blue as well. So we need to paint these two, but besides that, it's done. So starting in the kitchen, this is what it's looking like with the white. Oh, it's gonna be really hard to show you guys this with the lighting, but it looks really good. I feel like it brightens the space up a ton. I really like it. I wish you guys could see it, but the lighting for some reason, it's just struggling, but it looks really good. I feel like it brings a lot of color, but I promise it looks really good. I feel like it brightens the kitchen up quite a bit and it ties in with the cabinets almost perfectly. Okay, and then the white came over here. I hung up the new curtains, which I really like. They puddle a little bit at the bottom, which I think makes it look kind of elegant. So then the white kind of comes over here to the grand reveal. And you guys, I could not be more happy with the way that the fireplace turned out. I'm honestly so in love with it. The lighting's a little funky today because it's cloudy. Oh my gosh, I actually love it so, so much. The contrast of the black fireplace against the white wall makes it pop so much and I honestly love the wood on it as well. And we decided to go with like a sheen that was an eggshell so that it kind of looks matte instead of shiny, which I didn't like when we did the initial swatch over here. We decided to go with eggshell because I feel like it gives it more of like a matte black look. And the way that it pops against the little wooden piece on the mantle, I don't know. I'm just, I kind of am absolutely obsessed with it. Um, he is coming back today. He's going to touch up right here. He's gonna do a little line of caulking just so that it looks a little bit more seamless because it went through the tape a tiny bit. Um, so he's coming back today at some point to fix that. I know that some of you guys are not gonna be a huge fan of the matte black fireplace and that is okay. We all have different like style preferences, but most importantly, I can always change it back if I need to paint it. If I change my mind in like a year or so and I'm like, mm, I miss the white, I can definitely do that. But for now, both Justin and I 
are in love with the way that turns out. I feel like it adds like a pop to our home that we didn't really have before. The only thing I wish is that these beams could match that beam, but they're completely different types of wood and it's probably not gonna happen. Either way, I just, I feel like it's such a statement when you walk into the home and I, absolutely obsessed with it. It just makes something a little bit different for us and I fell in love with it the second I saw it finished and I love it. Have I mentioned that I love it? I'm also really excited to see the stuff styled on top of it but I haven't done that yet because like I said he's coming back today and he's gonna do the caulking so I didn't want to get in his way again for something that he's gonna just have to move but the pieces that we have up here right now are gold which I think is gonna pop so much. So it's this mirror that I found at Target and I feel like against the black it's gonna pop so much and then this is some pompous grass that I feel like will look really well and then these gold as well little candlestick holders. I don't know I just feel like it's gonna be such a vibe <laughs> and all together it ties in with a lot of like the black stuff that we already have in the house the black bar stools all of the hardware in the kitchen is black even the little lights above the island are black so overall I am very very happy and Justin loves it too and I'm very excited to see it decorated for the fall and Christmas time like I'm so excited oh okay one more thing we're gonna move this rug because we're getting that new one that I ordered we're gonna move this ruggable into the kitchen because now that we don't have blue I feel like this one doesn't tie in as much so that rug is going into the kitchen and then the new rug will be in here and we'll just store the other one and then I also took some photos of the kids in black and white and I'm gonna replace these with those photos but help me out with one thing I have a photo of Emma Reuben and Asher sitting against this plain wall and I don't know what to put in the fourth one because there's no way I'm gonna get a picture of mr. and Bo to pose and I wanted them to kind of be like all tied in to like the same thing so I don't know what to put in this fourth one I don't know if maybe I should try and do one of Justin and I or the three kids together but that would also be really difficult so leave your comments in the description leave your comments in the description leave your comments down below of what you think I should do with this last fourth one I want it to all tie in together Sissy's home Sissy's home <laughs> <laughs> what brothers. they're sleeping oh. you ready to eat some lunch Okay, sit down and I'll go grab it, okay? Okay. <laughs> what did you do at school today? Um, play. You played? Mm -hmm. What did you play? Um, the shoe. What? The shoe toys. The shoe toys? Mm -hmm. Oh. My wash me okay? Okay. Where's the bed in them? You ate it. <laughs> in my tummy? It's in your tummy. Did you play outside today? No, because it's raining. Oh, you didn't play outside because it was raining? Yeah, because the snow, the sun came out. It did, it's not raining anymore. Because mm -hmm, the clouds are not raining. The clouds are not raining? Mm -hmm. I'm on my princess one. Your princess sweater? Yeah. It's probably in your backpack. Now. You want it right now? Mm-hmm. Did you eat your snack at school? Yeah. All of it? Yeah. No. No, not all of it. <laughs> I know I'm terrible about linking things for you guys, by the way, but I want to link these labels that I got. They're from Minted. They are little, um, like labels that you could put on stuff for school and they are dishwasher proof, laundry proof, all of that. So I put them in her backpack, on her cups, in her lunch box. And lunch box, and that, that, and that. Yeah, I put them on it all, huh? Um, and then her backpack as well, like I said. I think I stuck one right under there where her name goes. And they've stuck on through many bag washes. This bag is also on Amazon in my storefront. I just put a patch over the little label because she wanted a smiley face patch. <laughs> the lunchbox I also got on Amazon, which I love because we pack a lot of warm food for her. Even though now she's not eating at school, it's nice to have it ready when I make the boys lunch. It's my lunch. It's your lunch? <laughs> Look who's awake. Say hi. <laughs> say hi. <laughs> Can you say hi, Asher? Good morning. You seem very happy. Uh-oh, Asher's got the umbrella. We found this yesterday from when Emma was a baby, too. What does that one say? Hiss. That's good, Ruben. Hiss. Hiss. Good job.
Yeah. <laughs> How big is Ruben? So big. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. Yes. Anyways, Tim just left. He finished up the fireplace. The caulking didn't really work, so he ended up just going in with a really tiny paintbrush and fixing up the top of the fireplace. And then I finally put the stuff up, and it looks even better. I am honestly so in love. I'm so glad we decided to just go for it. I seriously love how the gold looks against the black. I am honestly, it matches the gate like perfectly that we added on to. So it all looks so like, oh, it just looks so cohesive and nice. And it dried like the perfect sheen. It's not shiny. I mean, it looks right here because of the sun, but it's really not shiny. It's like a matte black. Ruben say, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> beep beep. Can you say bus? Bus. Bus. <laughs> oh, Sissy's awake. Let's go get Sissy. Come on, let's go get Sissy. Sissy's awake. Sissy's awake. Sissy's awake. Let's go. Let's go get her. Oh, you're gonna take her backpack in for her? That's very nice. Say sissy. 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 Here's what Tuesday nights normally look like. Emma finishes her dinner first and then goes to watch a movie. Asher usually finishes second and gets into some sort of trouble. Hey, sir, he figured this out yesterday. I know, but I don't want you to fall. Oh no. And Ruben usually is the last one to finish. He's kind of a slow eater. We had more of that sausage and rice leftovers tonight. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Surprisingly, I was able to get a lot done this evening. I deep cleaned the entire kitchen, which Tuesdays are the busiest days because Justin is basically gone the entire day, so it is just me at home. And I was able to deep clean the entire kitchen, so I'm feeling pretty good. I even got inside of the toaster oven and did the entire um, stove top, so that's impressive for me. I usually feel like I have to get cleaning done when the kids are sleeping because the second I ruin something, they get it, or the second I clean something, they ruin it, but I was actually able to get stuff done. They were busy playing Play-Doh and it was it was great. Also, is anyone else ready to decorate for Halloween? Look what I found at, um, I think it was at Home Goods the other day. I've got a couple other Halloween things, but I saw this. It reminded me of the sorting hat from Harry Potter and it was chipped, so it was on clearance and I kind of fell in love with it. You can't wear it, sadly, but I thought that this would be really pretty up on the mantle, especially now that it looks all like Halloween-y. What are you gonna be for Halloween? You're gonna be Ariel again? I thought you were gonna be Sleeping Beauty. Yeah. Oh, now you wanna be Sleeping Beauty? Yeah. Okay. What about your brothers? Um, dinosaurs. They're gonna be dinosaurs? What about me? Um, skeleton. I'm gonna be a skeleton? I also just realized tomorrow is the first day of September, so I've gotta clean all of this off and get ready for the new month. Luckily, September is gonna not be nearly as crazy as August, although we are traveling again in September. It's a work thing this time, but I'm actually really excited about it. I don't remember exactly when that is, but I know it's sometime in September for like, I think it's only two days. Anytime that Justin and I get to do something, just the two of us, I just, oh, I love it. You are going to be the death of me, Asher. You are so naughty. I know you're up. What are you looking at out there? That's so intriguing. <laughs> are you done now? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Before I end this vlog, please comment down below if you have an idea of how to rearrange this playroom because I have a feeling this is not gonna stop and it's gonna, someone's gonna eventually get hurt. I have the nugget here so that if someone falls, that least catches them. However, I could see them finding a way to maneuver all the way to the end and falling off, which is terrifying. So leave your comments down below. Asher's actually pretty good at 
Getting down. Oh, good job, boys. But we have to somehow fit in that new table that we got for the kids, the cubbies, and a couple of these other toys, obviously, the kitchen. So let me know how you guys would arrange it in the comments because I feel like this is just gonna be a continuous problem. But thank you guys so much for watching, and we will talk to you again soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>